welcome to two projects in this video we are going to explain the project creating alert messages based on wild animal activity detection using hybrid deep neural networks introduction the project centers around the development of an innovative animal activity detection system primarily focusing on image analysis addressing challenges associated with cluttered backgrounds and diverse wildlife structures the initiative aims to create a robust framework for detecting and classifying animals based on facial features noses bodies and tails this technology is tailored for application in forest regions providing a solution for real time monitoring of animal activities in images leveraging advanced deep learning techniques and neural network architectures the model excels in processing large sets of image data Unlike traditional methods, it efficiently analyzes images without manual interventions, offering a scalable solution for handling complex data structures. So, this project addresses the need for improved monitoring services in forest regions, emphasizing image-based animal activity detection. The system enhances human safety by alerting forest officers to potential threats such as animal attacks or wildlife encroachment into human living areas and agricultural lands. So beneficiaries include both human safety and wildlife conservation efforts. Timely alerts enable swift responses from forest officers, preventing human wildlife conflicts and contributing to wildlife conservation by identifying activities like hunting. Overall, this project has the potential to revolutionize image-based animal activity detection, providing a comprehensive solution for monitoring and safeguarding both human and animal populations in forest regions. Object of the project. So, as I mentioned earlier, the primary object of the project is to elevate animal detection accuracy in forests by integrating VGG19 and by LSTM algorithms. and to address limitations in existing techniques ensuring more precise identification and classification of animal activities improving overall monitoring efficiency and reliability in forest environments we aim to mitigate high computing expenses in forest surveillance and we want to optimize the proposed model to ensure cost effectiveness without compromising detection performance and to streamline computational processes for economic viability making the system more accessible and sustainable for continuous monitoring of animal activities in forests and the objective also includes evaluating the efficiency and accuracy of the combination of vgg19 and bialystem model by comparing it with traditional cnn approaches and the goal is to provide insights into advancements and benefits showcasing the proposed model superior performance in animal detection and activity classification within forest environments requirements needed to execute this project are software requirements software needed is anaconda primary language used is python front end framework used is flask back end framework used is jupyter notebook database used is sql lite 3 Front end technologies used are HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Bootstrap 4. Hardware requirements needed are operating system of Windows, processor of i5 and above, RAM of 8 GB and above, and hard disk of 25 GB and above. Now we'll discuss the working modules of law of work. So the first step is importing required packages. So the initial step involves importing essential Python packages for data manipulation and machine learning. including numpy panda cbon tensorflow keras and matplotlib these packages form the foundation for subsequent data exploration visualization and model development the second step is exploring the dataset so the dataset utilized is the wild animal dataset obtained from kaggle the exploration phase includes displaying all wild animal names present in the dataset subsequently All images are read from the dataset and features are extracted to prepare the data for model training. The third step is visualization using Seaborn and Matplotlib. Here visualization techniques leveraging Seaborn and Matplotlib are employed to graphically represent the distribution of the wild animal categories in the dataset. A bar graph is generated 
where the x axis represents animal names and the y axis signifies the corresponding counts this visual representation aids in understanding the data sets composition the next step is image processing so here image processing steps such as shuffling and normalization are applied to the data set shuffling ensures a diverse distribution of images during training and normalization standardizes pixel values enhancing model convergence and performance the next one is train and test split in this step the data set is divided into training and testing sets to assess the model's generalization capabilities this split is crucial for evaluating the model's performance on unseen data the next step is training and building the model here two models are built and trained convolutional neural network algorithm and a combination of vgg19 and bialystm hybrid model the training process involves optimizing model parameters using the training data so in the next step as an extension to the project a hybrid model is implemented by combining predictions from multiple individual models such as cnn with gated recurrent unit that is gru this ensemble approach aims to enhance the robustness and accuracy of the final predictions incorporating diverse perspectives from different models and as an extension again a user friendly front end is created using the flask framework facilitating user testing so the front end incorporates user authentication mechanisms using sql lite for sign up and sign in processes ensuring secure and personalized interactions after signing in users input images and user inputs are pre processed the trained models particularly the animal classification models example tiger lion are employed for predictions and the final predictions based on the user inputs and model analysis are displayed through the front end interface the outcome provides users with information about the identified animal category offering a seamless and informative experience now we'll understand about the algorithms used so the first algorithm built is convolutional neural network that is cnn So CNNs are apt for this project due to their prowess in image classification tasks. CNNs excel in learning hierarchical representations of images through convolutional layers, capturing intricate patterns and features. They employ filters to scan input images, recognizing spatial hierarchies and patterns. In this project, CNNs are suitable for detecting and classifying wild animals based on visual features extracted from images. providing an effective foundation for the baseline model in the animal activity detection system the next algorithm built is combination of vgg19 and bialystm so the vgg19 and bialystm hybrid model is chosen for its effectiveness in capturing both spatial and temporal features from image data vgg19 a deep convolutional neural network excels in image feature extraction The features are then fed into a bidirectional long short term memory that is bialystm network which processes sequential data capturing temporal dependencies in animal activities This combination leverages the strengths of both architectures enhancing the model's ability to accurately classify wild animal activities in the given data set particularly suitable for this project requiring comprehensive image and sequential data analysis Now we'll see the comparison graphs So this is the horizontal bar graph comparing accuracy scores of different algorithms. In this graph on x-axis I have accuracy scores and on y-axis I have algorithm names that is proposed combination of VGG19 and bialystm model existing CNN model and this is the extension model. So accuracy measures the overall correctness of predictions showing the percentage of correctly classified instances. This is precision scores comparison graph in this graph on x axis i have precision scores and on y axis i have algorithm names precision measures the accuracy of positive predictions indicating how many predicted positives were actually correct This is recall scores comparison graph in this graph on x axis i have recall scores and on y axis i have algorithm names recall measures the ability to identify all relevant instances showing how many actual positives were correctly predicted 
and this is f1 scores comparison graph in this graph on x axis i have f1 scores and on y axis i have algorithm names f1 score combines precision and recall into a single metric balancing accuracy and completeness in predictions so the algorithm which is best performing in all the performance metrics will be used for predictions execution of the project to execute this project first we need to open the code folder which contains the project source code files so this is the animals folder in which i have required data set on which we will train the models this is model folder in which i have model files which contain algorithm information these files will be loaded into the project code during runtime to utilize the trained models this is static folder this folder consists of files related to css javascript and bootstrap this is templates folder this folder contains all the html pages used in the project it typically includes files like index.html about.html etc which represent different pages of the website this is test images folder in which i have these images on which we'll make the predictions this is app.py file this .py file contains the information related to front end logic it includes code written in python that handles server side operations such as processing user requests interacting with the database and generating dynamic content to be rendered in the html pages this is data augmentation python code file in which i have the code for data augmentation using image data generator and these are model files again this is python main code file this is wild animal detection jupyter source file so jupyter source file allows users to write and execute code in individual cells making it a popular choice for data science it contains a combination of code graphs and outputs all in one place and this is signup.db file this file is the database file used to store user information so now copy the path of the code folder from the address bar of the file explorer i am copying it open anaconda prompt so now use the command cd followed by space and paste the copied path and hit the enter button so this command is used to change the current directory to the code folder's path now compile the app.py file using the command python space app.py i am typing python space app.py and hit the enter button so this command will execute the python script and perform a runtime check for any syntax errors or logical issues after running the app.py file the flask framework will host the application locally at the default address local host and port unless configured differently so this is the local host and this is the port now copy the local link provided by the framework i'm copying it and paste it into any web browser i prefer chrome after pasting it hit the enter button so the home page of the project has been displayed in the browser this is the front end built using flask framework so here we can see a sign up link click on it if we are new users we have to register first fill in all these details and click on register button to sign up and if we already have account we can directly log in by clicking on this link so as i already have account i'm clicking on this link so here we have to provide a credentials username and password and click on login button so it has redirected us to the detection page so now we have to upload any wild animal image here and the application will detect the animal from the image click on choose file button so from test images folder i'm selecting this image and click on open the image is loaded now click on upload button so we can see the application has detected the animal it has drawn a bounding box around the detected animal and it has classified this animal as leopard and we can also see a probability score here telling us how confident the application is about the detection click on back we'll try again click on choose file button so this time i'm uploading this image and click on open the image is loaded now click on upload button so we can see the application has detected the animal it has drawn a bounding box around the detected animal and it has classified this animal as lion and we can also see a probability score here telling us the confidence level of the 
detection. Click on bat. Similarly, we can upload any wild animal image and can get the detections. Click on choose file button. So this time I'm uploading this image and click on open. The image is loaded. Now click on upload button. So here we can see the application has detected the animal. It has drawn a bounding box around the detected animal. And it has classified this animal as tiger. And we can also see a probability score telling us the confidence level of the detection. Click on back. Now click on sign out. So the conclusion here is we have successfully implemented both CNN and combination of AGG19 and by LSTM algorithms for wild animal activity classification, demonstrating robust performance and effectiveness in capturing diverse features within the data set. We have efficiently streamlined processes to optimize computational costs, ensuring a sustainable and economical approach to forest monitoring. This addresses economic concerns associated with conventional surveillance methods, enhancing overall feasibility. And we have innovatively applied a hybrid model by merging CNN with GRU predictions, elevating prediction robustness and introducing advancements in wild animal activity detection. This approach contributed to improved model performance and adaptability. And we have integrated a user-friendly flask front-end with SQLite, facilitating seamless interaction. The incorporation of user authentication ensures secure data input, allowing users to conveniently input data and view final animal classification outcomes based on the performance of the trained models. Thank you for watching video. For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.